A lot of people will, and some of these motivational people out here, it's, it's the funniest thing in the world to me. They'll go and say, when you wake up in the morning, pound your chest. You know, fucking look at yourself in the mirror and do all this fucking bullshit. I hope it works. What works for me is that everyday resume. The things I know I've accomplished, the things I know I've done, real hard work, the real calluses on my mind, the real calluses on my hands. That's, that's it. The, you don't need to pound your chest in the mirror of the fuck anymore if you have that. So every morning starts with a run. And that's because that's the one thing I hate to do more than anything in the world. So that's like my cup of coffee. And I'm all about armoring yourself. So the second you leave your house and the second you open your phone, the second you do any of that, you are now letting in poison and cancer. So I make sure a lot of things you can't avoid. So as I get up, I start to armor plate my mind and body. Like a person's going to war, you put your body armor on. That's what I'm doing on that run. I'm waking up and I'm giving myself all this armor. So when I come out in the world, now look at that phone, I'm ready. I'm not waking up late. I'm not rushing around. I'm not disorganized. Cause I know I'm gonna get hit in the mouth. There's, a, there's an art to getting hit in the mouth. And that is why these things are important. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself belief. You have to give yourself confidence. So that, it starts with that run. So after the run, I come home, I eat something small. So anywhere from about an hour 30 to two hours, I run every day. Mm -hmm. So, so you're fasted on the morning. Yes. Up, straight out. Straight out. 90 minutes to two hours of running. Back, yep. eat. Eat, and I'm in the gym. So, and then after that, um to whatever's on the plan for the day. That's how that works every day. Are you still doing your stretching? Because you've got every two night. hours of- you've Every got night. Two hours of meditation, mm -hmm. 90 minutes to two hours of running. Mm -hmm. How long's the gym session? Depends, 45 to an hour and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. You cycle as well? Yeah. How long are you cycling? It just depends. I do stationary bike right now a lot. Uh -huh. What so, are you using? Is it like a Watt bike or something similar? Yeah, something yep. similar. Yep. So I, I put my bike on a uh, like trainer mm -hmm. and I cycle. Yep. At least three or four days a week, I'll do that. So, you, that's your day. There's no, there's no, there is no room for anything else. Yeah, there is a lot of room. So there's okay. 24 hours, and I and I use it all pretty, pr pretty well. How's your sleep? What's your sleep like? It's really good. Okay, it You're is getting now eight hours ish, something like that. Seven, eight hours. Mm -hmm. That's one hell of a day. It is, and it's been like that for seven years. But going back to what you said before about needing to cap success, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to fit well even one tenth of that in exactly if you were chasing down exactly yep that's exactly it so if all that's fucked up that's why i got a cap success because i can't put that in do and and that's my growth factor so you know that's that's my human growth factor you said before about um how you build up self-esteem and confidence and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's this quote from one of my friends, Alex Hormozzi, that says, you don't become confident by shouting affirmations in the mirror, but by having a stack of undeniable proof that you are who you say you are. Outwork your self-doubt. Yes. That's, the, that's nailed. It. Nailed. Completely nailed. Yes. Well, I believe that you have to build belief. Belief is like, there's an after-school special belief where the mom says, believe in yourself, and that's all great. But there's also a built belief. And the built belief is one where you are constantly, like for me, I came from a bad place. How I build belief is through the, the daunting tasks I put myself through. So that's proof positive that I can. So it correlates. And that's how this piece of shit kid I once thought I was built belief by saying, hmm, I was in three hell weeks. I went to ranger school. I tried out for Delta Selection. Undeniable stack of proof. That is proof, motherfucker. So whenever you think, whenever you think you can't, the confidence comes from the thing that you built. You must build belief. You must build confidence. It can't be like, hey, um, I'm gonna go knock that shit out. You gotta look over here and say, I can knock that shit out. It's belief and it's built on what you put in to yourself. I came from a small town in Indiana. 
where there was a handful of black families. And a lot of people in that town, when you come from a town of 8,000 people, it's like we had a local plant, Great Dane. And you're like, you know what? I want to work at Great Dane and get a house next to my mom. That's what you know. So many of us come from these small places in our mind that we're not willing to think outside of only what we've seen. Our mind works in such a small compartment. And one thing I was able to do was to dream. Many people, but don't make dreams your fucking master. But I was able to dream outside those fucking four walls of that small town. And until you're able to really put yourself into that dream, but don't make dreams your master, that's where you truly become what you're destined to become. What do you mean, don't make dreams your master? A lot of people sit back and they dream about being a sports figure or dream about being a SEAL or dream about being an astronaut. And all it is is a motherfucking dream. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. When you become the master of your fucking dream is when you say, I want to go be a Navy SEAL. And you say, okay, I'm going to lose 106 pounds in less than three fucking months. The dream was the one thing I thought about and the dream was now gone. Now, what comes in, the dream goes away and the fucking laundry list of fucking details and tasks come up. Gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. That's when you become the master of your dream. So, a lot of people out there dreaming. It actually makes you feel good, makes you feel proud, all that shit. But guess what happens? That alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. to train. Mm. I don't want to be a SEAL today. Or I don't want to be whatever today. I'll start tomorrow. And that's the usual pattern of people's lives. That's why I talk about clearing out the mind. Until you really want to do something, you're always going to be a talker. You're always going to run your fucking mouth. 